Hello everyone, Master Trainer Margaret here. So for this week's tip, I wanted to go over plies, but I wanna show you a really cool trick that will help you really activate your core and help you get in better alignment in your plie sequence. And now I go over plies very much in depth in my online class called uh, Basic Workout Plus Fundamentals of T-Tap. So if you're interested in that, I have a link in my profile to that. But for now, let's get to the plie tip. Okay, so here's the tip. You're going to need a table, a railing, um, you can even use a crib, but what you're gonna need is something you can push and pull on while you do your plie to kind of get that biofeedback because the better your core is curled throughout your plie, the more activation you're gonna get on your thighs and your glutes and also the more ab activation. So let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so if you've got your surface to hold on to, you're just gonna sit up with your normal plie stance, and I have other videos on plies if you need one of those, but basically you're gonna have your, so your shoulders fit between your heels, your feet will be slightly turned out, then you're gonna be bending your knees, hand on belly, hand on back, remember, inhale, expand the belly, and then belly button in, up, and back. Then you tighten those glutes, then you lift tall and slightly tuck your chin for the cervical vertebra alignment. Now you're gonna grab the table or your countertop or whatever you're using, it does not really matter the height of it, but you're gonna pull it to get your ribs up while keeping your low back there. You're gonna pull it to keep that low back curled because a lot of us do plies like this. We think it's a squat, it's really not a squat. I mean, it's called plie squat, but it's not a squat in the typical sense. So instead of just sticking your butt out and letting your abs hang out, you're thinking about keeping that curl as you go down and then you're thinking curl, curl, curl as you pull the table, you help the you curl more as you go up. So it's down two, three, keep that curl. Notice how it's keeping my low back nice and flat. And then pull the table, pull the table, pull the table till you feel it. Table go under and then keep going, keep going till your legs are almost straight and squeeze the glutes right there. And then down two, three, you can see how I lose that a little bit at the top. That's okay, up two, three, squeeze the glutes down, two, three. You're pulling the table and you're pushing the table to keep your ribs up as you keep that low back as flat as you can. So that is the tip. It's really challenging and it really helps you feel that neurokinetic connection to your low back curling under while you go throughout the course of your plie. So that is this week's tip. I hope that you enjoyed it. You can do it before you do plies to kind of help you get that brain body connection going to feel what you're supposed to be doing throughout the entire plie movement. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week.